Hi, once again, um, my name is Andres Ramirez. I am the Vice President of Hispanic Programs for NDN, a uh, think tank and public policy advocacy firm here in Washington, D.C. Um, we, we welcome you guys to our second uh, monthly Latin American Policy Initiative. We kicked this off uh, a couple months ago with Senator uh, Bob Menendez and Ambassador Sarucan from Mexico. Today we're continuing our dialogue on Latin American policy and bilateral relationships between the United States and independent Latin American countries um, with Ecuador. We have joining us today Ambassador Gallegos uh, from the, the Ecuadorian Embassy in the U.S. Um, to talk to us and we also have um, Eric Jacobson here today from Congressman Elliot Engel's office. Um, I want to note that Congressman Elliot Engel uh, was making every attempt to be here today. Unfortunately, he was on a previously scheduled Coldale out in Europe, correct? And um, they had difficulty with the plane and um, he is currently stuck in Ireland uh, trying to make his way back to um, the States. So um, I want to apologize for those of you who are here hoping to hear from Congressman Engel. But Eric Jacobson is a senior foreign policy advisor and has been working on all his policy for Latin America. And he has been gracious enough to stay here and help us uh, with the remarks that uh, Congressman Elliott uh, Engel had prepared to give us today. Um, so just real briefly on format, um, we normally provide for the ambassador to give 10 to 15 minutes of remarks uh, about his views on uh, bilateral relationships between Ecuador and the United States. It is followed by the member of Congress. Today we have filling in for Congressman Engel, as I mentioned, his senior foreign policy advisor, who will give 10 to 15 minute remarks. And then we open it up for questions. Um, the only thing that I will ask for you, as I will be moderating this, is that we will only entertain questions as they are specific towards bilateral relationships between the United States and Ecuador. Our program has been very specific to focus on individual countries. We will be having other events that focus on broader hemispheric relations. I understand there is importance to that as well, but as we do these monthly series, we want them specific towards the countries. Um, so we won't be entertaining questions today about Argentina or Brazil or other issues that are also important to the United States foreign policy, Latin American foreign policy. Today we're going to focus our questions specifically. So when we open it up, if you have questions, please be mindful and respect the program. I, I, I will tell you that we will eventually get to all the Latin American countries. So if there is a country of interest specific to you, we will get to it. And you will have a venue for that eventually. Um, so having said that, I want to go ahead and get started. I know you're not here to listen to me um, and to ramble on about my views on Latin American policy. So I want to ask you to please help me. Again, we normally start with the uh, uh, visiting ambassadors first. So if you can please help me in joining the ambassador, uh, the Ecuadorian ambassador to the United States, Luis Gallegos, I'd really appreciate it.